Hello again and welcome back. Uh, it's time I did an update on the fire truck. It's been a few months since I did my last video. And over the last few months I've been working on a pretty much a longer term project to actually get a window in the bedroom area of the fire truck. So I'm gonna show you all of that now. One of the things I've been doing over the last three months is working on this, which is a, a 100 year old window. Um, this is an oak frame. It's got uh, lots of holes in it, so this was absolutely useless. So I've had to do some very basic carpentry to make a new frame for that, to install that. So I'm gonna show you the work I've done on that. This is not really a blow by blow carpentry video. I'm not a carpenter, I'm not a painter, I'm not a glazer, I'm not anything like that. I'm just uh, doing it the way that I like to do it. So let's have a look at what we've done in the fire truck. So this is the window as it arrived with its uh, shield design. It's a 100 year old window in an oak frame. Pretty soon it became obvious that the oak frame was uh, quite rotten. Uh, it's also too heavy for the fire truck. So I decided to start taking it apart by digging out all of the putty. Um, and that's when I started to find further problems with the window itself. I knew it was a 100 year old window in a 100 year old frame uh, so I was, should have been more prepared really but uh, I always had the idea that I would uh, take it out of its original frame and make a new frame for it to go in so I could make it exactly the right size for the uh, location. As I got the window panel out though it was obvious that the, the leading is falling apart completely so I had to we build that. So you can probably tell I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I'm cleaning this up with a bit of um, this quite coarse sandpaper just to rough the surface up. Then of steel wool, clean the surface off. This is a tallow candle, tallow flux, a little bit of flux on there. And my soldering iron which is a 100 watt 10 pound soldering iron and this is a 4060 solder from some stained glass window guru. Um, and I'm gonna try and solder that join now. That looks fine to me. The next I've been flattening this with a screwdriver, just making sure there's enough gap for my cement around there. Pull that back a little. This lead is really malleable, it's quite, quite interesting how it works. We'll see. So there you go, that's uh, me soldering some dodgy looking stained glass. The next thing to do was to add the cement to fix the glass into the lead. I was actually quite surprised at how much cement was needed to uh, make the glass stable. It seemed to disappear inside the lead quite quickly. Okay, so that's the cement done. Next step is to use something called whiting, which is basically chalk. And I need to dust that on and uh, rub that in. And that soaks up some of the oils from the cement and helps it dry. So just a little bit of chalk, a little bit of chalk goes on. We'll do a little bit more than that. There we go. Glove out of the way. Just gently start to dust that around. I actually needed quite a surprising amount of this chalk because there was quite a lot of oil within the cement itself. But uh, after, after a while, moving it around, rubbing it in, it soon turned into something uh, which looked pretty good, I thought. And I was quite happy with that. 
The next step was to use this black grate polish uh, all over the glass and the lead. It makes the lead black and it cleans the glass and all of the cement off of the glass. So that was the final step for that. Today I'm installing the glass window which I refurbished into this new bit of wall that I've made. So I'm just going to fit the wall in now. That includes uh, some work that I've done to the lower bed section and the back of the truck. So I'll just explain that and then um, we can see if I can actually fit the wall and hopefully the uh, Sikaflex EBT Plus will hold that down nicely. One of the things I wanted to do was to box in the bottom section of the bed uh, because if I've got the back door of the truck open uh, it's going to going to get a bit wet if it rains if there's a shower I'm not expecting to have the back of the truck open all the time but if there's a shower I don't really want uh, the contents under there to get wet I've had to create this uh, small cutout with a little gap in there a little space in there and a bit of a box because the roller shutter button needs to press somewhere needs to go in somewhere and you can't release the roller shutter unless you've got a button like that place like that for the button to go. This is the wall I've made, it's simple construction, plywood, softwood, glued and screwed together and I've cut the aperture here for the window, the frame that I made and uh, that fits in there nicely so I'm actually going to bond the window in there once I get the wall in but I've got to get the wall in first. This here is masked off because this is where the Sikaflex EBT Plus is going to go um, I think the EBT Plus is flexible enough to allow for the wall to just to, just to move a little bit when you're, you're driving along, a few vibrations or whatever, and that should hold that quite nicely without cracking. So that's what I'm going to use there. One extra little bit, I don't know if you can see this, I've recessed some, some little pieces here to, to sit over the screws on the inside of the truck, and uh, I've put some neoprene on there just to stop it rattling which should be quite good I think. I don't think that's gonna cause any problems, should stop the rattles. I want this wall to be removable ultimately, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Next I put down a fairly generous bead of EBT Plus in brown and spread that along the top of the bed section so I could lay the wall on top of that and uh, hopefully it would grab into position and it did. That's great, that's a really good fit. I'm very pleased with that. this is the inside and this is uh, where the neoprene tape is against this uh, back wall of the truck um, and there's the, the wall so it only sticks in that far so the bed really it's not going to make much difference on the bed area so now I'm going to go inside I'm going to screw through here into the wall and into the metal the other side just to hold the wall up and then I think probably try and bond in the window so I'm using the Renault 4 as a, a workbench. Some people say that's what they were designed for. And I'm just going to put a bead of this around here. Not a lot, just a little bit. I just want to get the gap filled. The window probably won't need bonding in as such. I'll put a few screws in. But a nice bit of this is going to stop any drafts or leaks.
this window installation has been a long time coming I think I bought this probably two or three months ago and completely refurbished the lead um, made the frame very simple construction my own style of cutting it gluing it and screwing it together you're a carpenter or a window fitter you'll notice that I'm doing this all wrong there's no need to tell me I know that but it's perfectly fine okay let's see if we can get this in the truck without getting it all over my hands I know this is going to be quite a tricky tight fit in here but it does fit and it fits quite nicely so let's see if I can get it in without covering myself in Sikaflex. Pretty good. Let's put some clamps on. Okay, a little bit further on, I've fitted a stay on the window, so the window stays open. Now I'm just going to give this wood and this timber a coat of this primer and undercoat. So let's get on with that. This is the first of what turned out to be two coats of primer and undercoat and then two further coats of NATO matte green paint on top of that. I'd got a new tin of NATO matte green paint and despite the paint going to be in the same it was a completely different shade of NATO green uh, to the one I'd used on the uh, summer kitchen that I'd made on the side of the truck. So there we are, left handed. More Jackson Pollock than anything else, but it's got the first coat of primer on it. So wait for the next one tomorrow. So this is the finished result. I'm really pleased with this window. Uh, made a good addition to the truck. Really nice light into the bedroom area. What I really like is that it's behind the roller shutter. So it kind of preserves the heritage of the truck and it looks like a fire truck from the outside. But when you stop and park up, you can open the roller shutter and there's the window. So yeah, really nice, really pleased with that. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave me a comment, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.